Hey guys, my name is Yorelis and welcome to my beauty space. Today I'm giving you a full on holiday slay, holiday glam with a classic red lip. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't want to talk too much during this intro, so let's just get started. Hello my glowing dolls, we are back. I wanted to do a holiday glam because we're already in November, so we need to get ready, all right? So slay the sala, and you're just gonna be slaying in the corner watching everybody eat, and you're over here planning out your fitness goals and how you're gonna look next year, okay? I'm going to prep my eyes. Remember when everyone used to use like the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer? <laughs> I feel like that's mad throwback right now. I'm gonna set that using a translucent powder or you can use an eyeshadow if you like. I'm going to moisturize my lips cause you don't want no crusty lips in front of your fam. You don't want to be labeled as, oh, my crusty lip prima who came through with some crusty ass lips this year. For eyeshadow, I am busting out my Life palette here that has gotten so small. I recently did a declutter, so these are the shadows that survived. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek shadows. I haven't used them in some time. Picking up Early Bird, I'm going to pop that right in the crease using my favorite Morphe 513 brush. Can't live without this brush. I even sang about it in my last video. I honestly can't even believe it's already November. Like, just the other day it was August. <laughs> like, where did the time go? What the hell? Now I'm picking up Morocco. This is another favorite Makeup Geek shadow. I'm gonna wing it here. Next I'm picking up Cabin Fever and I'm also gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna apply that into my crease. I'm gonna use the same brush. Tap, tap. What I really like about Makeup Geek is the fact that you can layer on so many shadows and they just blend in so nicely together. Like they don't go on patchy, they just, blend really easy and really nice now i'm going in with bitten bitten is like an og favorite like i say that in like all my videos because there's just certain things that i just can't let go of using and this is one of them gonna take my smaller morphe brush this is a 507 tap 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 and i'm also gonna apply this into the crease i'm not gonna really concentrate too much on the outer v with this one now i'm going to layer it with cherry cola it's all about layering in this look. I'm taking this BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number nine. And I'm also taking Americano and I'm just gonna place that in the outer V area. Picking up a clean brush, I'm just gonna go back into Morocco and I'm going to mix Early Bird as well. And I'm just gonna pop that into my crease. Just lightly up here. All right, now we're gonna snatch up your eyelids. So I'm going to pick up a flat brush and a little bit of concealer. This is the Too Faced Concealer, the Bowen This Way. I did a review on this. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below. I have pretty large eyes, so I am gonna bring it up a little higher than normal because I just want to show off my big eyelids. That way when a cousin says something slick, they can just see my big ass eyelids while I roll them. Now I'm taking Legend because that's who you are. And I'm picking up a flat brush and I'm going to apply that all over the lids. Taking my brush and I'm just going to clean up the edges. Make sure that it's all blended together because you're gonna come through real snatch at that dinner table. Mm. We're doing a full on slay, so we're gonna come through with a wing and all that. So for that, I'm gonna use the Master Precise from Maybelline. Just hold in your breath and just do your wing. And of course, we're gonna follow that up with some mascara and I'm going to use the Big Shot Mascara for that. And waterproof because in case you start crying from all of the ridiculous comments that you're hearing at the dinner table. <laughs> for lashes, I'm going to use these Christina lashes. These are so bomb and your cousin's gonna think that it's bomb too. But don't play yourself. Add a little bit of mascara to the bottom. That way they're all blended together and you'll look crazy. 
Now we're gonna move on with face, and you don't wanna show up all dusty and dry looking in front of your fam, so you wanna make sure you moisturize, because you know, we all got that one arm that loves to stare at you up and down, because you lost a little bit of weight, you looking good, your skin is glowing, and she's just mad, cause she's been on a diet since 1992, and you're like, mm-hmm, yes, check out my skin, girl, I still look good, and I still look young, and you don't, okay? Now I'm trying to glow for the gods here, okay? So I'm gonna take this D serum from Drunk Elephants. I have mentioned this product a couple of times in my videos. If you don't have this, you need this in your collection. It just gives the perfect glow to your skin for your base. You don't even need to use a primer. Like, I just like to prime with this. You also wanna color correct because you don't wanna play yourself in front of your fam and reveal to them that you have not been sleeping. So, make sure you color correct, okay? You just wanna do a light layer of this. You don't wanna go ham either. For foundation, you wanna make sure that you pick out something that's gonna give you a nice glow to your skin. Whatever skin type you have, make sure you use your favorite one. I have several favorite ones, but my latest favorite is this L'Oreal True Match, and I'm in the color N7. All right, so I want some flawless under eyes, especially on a holiday. So I'm going to use this KKW concealer in the shade 11. I like this concealer because it's easy to blend and it gives me a full coverage. I personally like to wait a little bit before I blend out my concealer because it gives me more coverage that way. Just a little tip. Of course we want our snatched under eyes to stay in place so I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder. Going to look up and blend out any creases first. And you want your last movement to be once you come in and then that's it. Like that. Go back and forth and then your last one is when you go in. That's it. Boom. Look how smooth that looks. I personally like to use a beauty blender because I feel like it just diffuses the product nicely and it just, it blends it out for you as opposed to using a brush. All right, so I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus. All right, you guys already know this is a favorite. This is something that I'm always gonna keep using, I guess, because I seriously cannot find Another contour kit out there that interests me to get. I feel like everything's so cool tone. These are just the tones that I like on my skin tone. Okay. And I'm going to start on my forehead. Start swirling it in. You could cream contour if you want, but I decided not to because that's something that I don't normally do anyway. So try to stick to things that you normally do. You don't want to play yourself at that dinner table, you heard? For blush, I want to glow, so I'm going to use this right here. This is Sweet as Cocoa. I haven't used Fuego in quite some time, so I'm going to use this as my highlighter today. The infamous Fuego from Dosa Colors. I mean, come on. That is beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Mm. When your cousins ask you what glow you have on, you be like, girl, I got that exclusive limited edition Fuego right here. Boom. Let's move on to the lower lash line. I personally like to smoke it out. I love a nice deep smoked out under eye situation. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my favorite. I mean, come on. You guys should know by now what my favorite is. And that is the MAC Costa Riche pencil. And I love this pencil. I say it all the time. This is a must have in your collection, okay? Oh, this is, this is sick right here. Oh my God, I love this. Picking up an angle brush and Americano from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. I'm picking up my pencil brush and the same crease colors that we used before, Morocco and Early Bird. I'm just going to mix them together and place them under my eye. Don't ever be afraid to add mascara to your lower lash line. I think it completes the look and it makes it look just so sexy 
and sultry and put together. This was one of my favorite eyeshadows from Anastasia. Um, Surface of the Sun. Wow. This, I almost hit pan on this too. I couldn't stop using this when I first got it. So I'm curious to see if I still like it. Oh. And I do. I just gave myself a beat down of a lifetime. Like, what? We're going to use a little bit of Fix Plus yet again. And I'll be like, damn, she came through dripping. Like, you serious right now? For lips, you can do any color you want. You could basically do a nude. You could do a peachy nude. You could do even a berry will look nice with this. But I, I'm going to do a classic red. This is Forever Red from LA Girl. You know, I was trying to find this on a website. I believe it was Lady Moss. I didn't see them. Are these discontinued or something? But before I use this, I do have two red options that I'm not sure. We got the classic Lady Danger. You remember when everyone was on this lipstick? Like, I, I found this in my collection and I was like, bitch, we haven't seen you in a minute. And I have this red lipstick. I know this is limited edition and I kind of don't want to use it. But then again, we're, we're here to slay, right? We're here to be like, I got that exclusive limited edition makeup on that you didn't get your hands on so <laughs> i kind of feel like using this we're gonna line the lips now mm. this is pretty to finish this off i'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter right on my cupid's bow area this will give the illusion of a fuller lip Okay, 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 okay. We are snatched. Now, if I was really going to dinner right now, I would personally wear like a liquid lip. I wanted to use Merlot from Dosa Colors. That is like my all time favorite red. But I actually just ran out of it. Like I was literally scraping to see if I had any for this tutorial and I couldn't. But it's all good. So if you have a matte red, definitely use it. Cause you don't want to be reapplying and you know you're gonna keep sipping on your wine and you don't want it to be all over you so all right fam this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this slay because i definitely had a lot of fun doing this you know i know i was talking a lot of crap throughout the tutorial but at the end of the day it is fun to finally see your family during the holidays and just be kind to each other like you guys already know how you guys are like you know everyone's personality like just brush everything off it's all fun and games whatever makeup look you decide to go with even if it's this one or a different one make sure that you slay it make sure that you lay it down just have fun with it you know you come through you come through with your new sass and you just make the best of it you eat and you just chill and enjoy each other's company so before you guys go please make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already Hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. Please leave me any comments below. What are you looking forward to this holiday? Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't eat too much now because we do have our fitness goals for next year. I'm trying to look good for some of body 2019, you heard. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to glow. Because you want to you wanna blind your family members, you heard? You, you want to come through that sala and be like... Yes, this is what I've been doing all year long. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.